Hi, we meet again in our online class. So now we are on part 7 of the chapter 2, which is a uh, transformer. Okay, on part 7, uh, we will cover on transformer losses, efficiency, and also voltage regulation. So this all the formula you need to know and remember how to use and how to apply this formula in a calculation okay uh, for the transformer losses as i described in our previous lecture so we have a uh, several type of losses in transformer such as uh, uh, ion losses and also copper losses so an ion losses occurs in transformer is due to the losses in the core okay so we can calculate the losses uh, we can calculate the ion losses as can be seen on this uh, formula uh, p ion equal to pc uh, or ic squared rc or it, it or it's equivalent to the p open circuit so you must remember this formula PC. PC is represented the ion losses equal to IC squared times RC. Okay. On the other hand, the copper losses is occurs in the uh, in the winding of coil of the transformer uh, due to the heat. Okay. Okay. So we can calculate the uh, copper losses as PCU equal to I1 squared R1 plus I2 squared R2 or this is uh, equivalent to the P short skirt uh, PCU okay PCU is copper losses okay equal to I1 squared RO1 or I2 squared RO2 so this RO1 or RO2 is represented the transformer refer to the primary or secondary RO1 is a combination of R1 plus R2 prime okay uh, in other hand RO2 is R1 prime plus R2 okay so the basic formula is PCU I2 squared R01 or I2 squared R02 if the we calculate the losses uh, at the secondary okay so remember this formula okay okay uh, next is a voltage regulation so what is a voltage regulation so voltage regulation can be defined as a change in the magnitude of the secondary voltage of the transformer when the load change from no load to full load by assuming that the the transformer is receiving the constant primary voltage okay at the point, uh, the ability of the transformer to maintain the secondary voltage over a range of load current. Uh, so, kebolehan transformer itu untuk uh, maintainkan secondary output voltage. Jadi, V2 output voltage dekat secondary sentiasa maintain. Walaupun load adalah berubah, sentiasa berubah. Uh, even uh, small load and then load increase. Tapi voltage regulation stay maintain. Uh, okay, uh, the purpose of voltage regulation is basically to determine the percentage of voltage drop between no load and full load. Jadi, uh, if the V R is uh, close to zero, okay, the percentage of V R is close to zero, so the the transformer is more stable ataupun the secondary voltage is better and then it will provide a 
better regulation for the transformer so untuk VR ni kita nak pastikan uh, the percentage of VR is uh, small jadi ok uh, to calculate the voltage regulation on transformer so we can use three method ok first is basic definition uh, short circuit test and also third is uh, equivalent circuit method ok we go to basic definition method first ok so by using a uh, basic def definition methods uh, we are equal to v no load minus v full load divided by v no load so this is basic definition of the uh, how to calculate the uh, voltage regulation for the transformer so you must uh, remember this formula okay next step is uh, using the short circuit test method so basically we can use uh, this formula if i short circuit is equal to i full load uh, so we must test first i full load is equal to i short circuit okay let's say uh, if the short circuit test at the primary side so we must use uh, v1 over v1 okay if the short circuit test at the secondary side so by v2 okay then the most important thing is a symbol plus minus here so minus is for the lagging factor so we need to minus it if lagging per factor so tolak total, uh, theta short skirt tolak theta per vf so, kalau uh, leading per factor so kita kena tambah lah ok ok plus theta short skirt plus theta vf ok cos ok nanti kita akan tengok uh, example lah how to apply this formula so in term of derivation so you don't need to know but you need to understand it how to use this formula because we we just uh, apply this formula to calculate the we are okay by using uh, the third method is a uh, equivalent circuit method okay by using uh, this method so we have reduced the equivalent circuit of the transformer using the actual method or approximate method in the previous section so let's say if the if we refer to the primary side so we must use i1 okay primary current and also the parameter for the primary side okay r01 plus s01 impedance and also return for the at the primary side over v1 Okay, if refer to the uh, primary side. Okay, then if refer to secondary side, so we supposedly use the I two. Then parameter at the uh, parameter R O two and also X O two divide by V two. Uh, okay. 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 Uh, actually, the value of V R is depend on type of transformer load for example uh, if purely resistive load so basically the value of vr is more than 3% however it is still considered as poor vr then uh, if we have the inductive load okay the value of vr is become worse okay normally poor than resistive load ok so the the load such as a uh, discharge lightning up welder induction motor fan or any load that have a coil winding so it will give a poor value of VR for transformer ok so if the value of VR is small so we can make a conclusion that the transformer is good and stable because it's able to maintain the secondary 
uh, wattage, uh, even the loads are changing. So the aim is our aim is to make sure that the VR is near to zero. So we can consider it as a good uh, transformer. Okay, uh, example six. Okay, uh, so how to calculate a VR? So basically, the the parameter or the value in the example six is based on the example five. Okay, in our example five, we have calculated the value of R one, X one, uh, I one, and also the equivalent circuit using the approximate method so in this example we need to calculate the VR using equivalent circuit okay so you just uh, plug in okay using this formula because in the example 5 we need to find the parameter or draw the equivalent circuit for the transformer refer to the primary side so this is the equivalent circuit and also the parameter so we just use the value of R01, X01, I1 and then uh, plugging into the formula so we can calculate the VR for the transformer okay the solution is okay I1 I1 is referred to the primary current so I1 13.64 Okay, then uh, R01 12.04 SO1 28.63 okay, V1 primary voltage 11 kV okay, 11 kV and then this is cost power factor cost theta 0.866 lagging Okay, so 0.866 darab 12.04 darab 0.866 pas 28.63 darab sine theta pf. Okay, sine 30 dan 0.5 lah. So masukkan dalam formula, then calculate darab 100%. So you akan dapat nilai we are equal to. 3.04% Okay